Welcome to The Know, I'm Mika Burton. I'm Ryan Haywood. Fingers are pointing everywhere about Mass Effect Andromeda, as you can see by Ryan. So for who's to blame for all the game's problems? Is it the animators, the cinematic designers, the writers, the moon? The moon, apparently, is to blame here. Well, it was in phase. Yeah. <laughs> So just about everyone has been a scapegoat since the game has been released just a couple of weeks ago. Just ahead of Bioware's reveal of the game's disaster relief plan, tomorrow is when they will announce what they'll be fixing in the game. Uh, we might have some indication about what caused some of Andromeda's most blatant issues. According to one new report, Bioware upper management is to blame for Mass Effect Andromeda's very public animation and modeling problems, which are allegedly the result of an over-reliance on outsourcing and automated technology for the game's facial animations. This new report comes from Liam Robertson, a gaming historian on YouTube who worked with Unseen64 and Did You Know Gaming. <laughs> He's got quite a few industry contacts, and as such, he's been the source for a few Nintendo stories we've reported on in the past. Over the weekend, Robertson released a new video about what went wrong with Mass Effect Andromeda's models and animation. In the video, Robertson says that he's been in touch with multiple people at Bioware, including artists, who gave him some information about what's to blame for the highly criticized animation. And many of those sources point the finger at Bioware upper management, who opted uh, for the team to use automated technology in order to cut corners on the, game's anim on the game's animation and facial model. For what it's worth, we've heard rumblings of something remarkably similar to these claims last week, but it wasn't something we felt we could report on at the time. The technology in question is called CyberScan, and it's a program meant to take digital scans of a physical subject to use as a basis for 3D modeling and animation. The idea was that it would help save a lot of time in development by just scanning and creating the models that way, rather than making them from scratch. The problem with that is the text's not perfect, and it doesn't really work well for creating, you know, high quality video game assets, and you end up looking like this. Do I look like a human? <laughs> As such, more attention was needed from artists, modelers, and animators to ensure that the scan assets met a certain quality and to perfect the templates created by the scans, which, as we saw, they did not do. Mm. No. Yeah, however, multiple Bioware employees told Robertson that this part of the process never really happened. And instead, just about all the human models and animation work was outsourced to a company outside of Bioware. <laughs> That's never good. Mm -mm. Robertson said, the vast majority of work on human characters was outsourced as opposed to being handled internally at Bioware. One artist who worked on Andromeda told me that the only subjects that were given much attention by Bioware's art team were hard surface assets like environments and ships, as well as select robots and alien characters, so fuck the humans. Well, you see, you can't scan the robots and alien characters unless they have a secret vault somewhere. Uh, more staffers went on to blame Bioware management, who made the decision to send the human character work to other external electronic art studios. Uh, Robertson said that another source at EA tipped him off that the work may have ended up at uh, EA Bucharest in Romania. Romania has an EA studio? They do, actually. I yeah. learned something new today. What's worse, the in-house team didn't get a chance to polish them up either. Robertson's Bioware sources said that members of Bioware's management team just didn't see that it was a big deal for the in-house artist to oversee the human animations. Nah, that looks like a human, right? It's uh, close enough. He's got a face. Buttery. Look, he's got Whatever. eyes. And a mouth that moves. Ah, that's that's good. a human. Uh, so it wasn't just about saving money, it was because Bioware management deemed it unnecessary. And really, there wasn't much anybody on the team actually making the game could do about it. Speaking to Tech Raptor, Robertson clarified, it was a Bioware management decision going pretty far up and beyond the control of the team on the ground floor. So Bioware was more concerned about ships, environments, and pretty armor than about, you know, the characters wearing that pretty armor. Look, see, they made cosplay material, mm -hmm. and the face is superfluous. You well, don't okay. care what the face is. No, you just just what the body's wearing. The less that you're paying attention to this, the more interchangeable it is when someone cosplays it. Ryan, there you has go, EA. Figured it out. You're welcome, EA. Call me. Well, <laughs> anyway, their attention and or lack thereof really shows. Robertson sources indicated that ultimately Bioware placed way too much faith in those automated systems to get the job done in order to save time. The report also wades into a bit trickier territory because some of the sources also claimed that Bioware and EA were reluctant to modify the female human models in particular, get this, because they didn't want them to appear too attractive because they wanted them to represent real women. Yes, I remember all the females in that game having exactly normal human proportions. <laughs> nope, nothing that would intimidate a young girl there. Mm-hmm. 
Well, because space women can't be sexy, that's exactly it. Uh, Robertson told Tech Raptor that meetings between EA and BioWare have taken place regarding their games being more inclusive. So mm -hmm. this is a big concern for the team. Robertson said, they try to be very, very careful about respecting their audience and messing that stuff up. So no matter how you slice it, if these sources are to be believed, one of the big enemies of Mass Effect Andromeda was trying to streamline the process and make the game more automated. In general, there's nothing wrong with trying to save time on a massive project like this, but at times you can cause some of the problems we've seen here by cutting corners and being lazy. Uh, really, that's one of the big knocks against Mass Effect Andromeda in general. In a lot of ways, the game is extremely templated, with many feeling that it's missing the spark that made the original games great in the first place. Because they were filled with their share of problems, too, but gamers tend to forgive those things when ambition and creativity are on display. On the outside, this looks like management missing some of the signs about what made their game special in the first place, and maybe pushing these things through without considering the cost. The real question is how much Bioware can mitigate some of these criticisms about animation, if they can at all. They're expected to announce their big emergency plans for Mass Effect Andromeda tomorrow, where they'll talk about how they plan on fixing the game and addressing fan concerns going forward. There's a lot of speculation about what will be included in that announcement, but fans hoping for a ton of animation fixes might want to keep their hopes in check. Given the massive amount of scenes and dialogue in the game, plus the fact that it sounds like there was a systematic problem that went into putting them in there in the first place, per Robison's report, the root of the problem isn't something that can really be patched out unless they're like, LOL, new game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. It's a lot of work. Five effort. more years. That's a lot of polish work, and that is not a short process. Uh, of course, there are a bunch of other technical problems a patch could address, along with various other gripes people have about the game, about how the game performs and plays. We'll just see if Bioware is able to meet people's expectations and get some of that damage under control. At least some of it. But judging how some of this has already played out and how this has played out in the past, that might be hoping for too much. Yeah. Rip. Uh, mm. Mm. Well, what do you guys think of this new report about what went wrong with Mass Effect Andromeda's animations? Let us know in the comments. For future updates on the next Mass Effect Andromeda disaster, also more of our stuff, like this video and subscribe to the now. The technology in question is called CyberScan. It's a program meant to take digital scans of physical subject to use as a basis for 3D model and... Let me just start that sentence over. That stuff? That stuff, yeah, they don't want to mess stuff? this stuff up. This stuff? Most, mostly <laughs> Which stuff? this stuff okay. and this stuff. Just to be clear, I wanted to make sure which...